Oh, God, I despise teenagers. Mom? What? Good. <laughs> Shut up. You okay? Oh, I'm gonna kill my boss. Gosh, he was so nasty to me today, you know, like it's my fault he can't get into Northwestern. I know what just might make you feel better. Me too, but I bet it's a different list than what you got. Why don't you stack them sandwiches over there on a plate for me? I gotta go to Handy J, get some chips and soda, all kinds of other stuff. What sandwiches? I see flat meat and I see bread. But I don't see no sandwiches. Oh, boing! Did you want me to make them because sandwiches? Oh, could you? Oh, are you kidding? I was standing behind a counter preparing food for people all day. And I would say, right now, there is nothing more I'd rather do than make sandwiches for you, Dan. Why, then, we're both in heaven. <laughs> and you know what the beauty part is? Once the guys get here, you'll never have to set foot in this kitchen again tonight. Why are you banning me? Key wrecked. Well, then I'm going to miss out on all that fascinating conversation you have during these card games. You know, like, are the Cubs going to make it to the Super Bowl or should I use snow tires or chains? <laughs> Mom, you want me to read to you? Frog and Toad? Yeah. Hit it. I will go to Toad's house, said Frog. I will rake all of the leaves that have fallen on his lawn. Toad will be... I'll take care of this. Surprise! Here, don't tell your father. Toad looked out of his window. These messy leaves have covered everything, said Toad. Oh, let me! Oh, hi, Arnie. Hey, Rosie. Where's the man of the house? He's in the kitchen reading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snazzy shirt. You want it? Why, are you going to give it to me? No, cut it up. No, if you want it, I want you to have it. No, you keep your shirt on. You just missed out on your golden opportunity. Hey, Deej. Hi. Buddy. You got to move, honey. We're setting up the table. Okay, I'll go read to my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There you go. Hey, Rosie, let me ask you something. And be honest with me, because, well, you're always honest with me, but most women are not always honest. Oh, you mean like most men? I think men are honest. That's a lie. Okay, it's a lie, but most women aren't always that honest either. Yeah, they are. Okay, they are, but hypothetical situation. You got a guy and a gal living together for, let's say, 19 months. Sharing expenses on everything, including storage for both, they use pff, five weeks out of the year. And Sharon's pushing you to marry her. And sell the boat. Well, do you love her? <laughs> do I love her? Be serious, no <laughs> jokes. Yeah, I, I love her. I love her. <laughs> then don't marry her. Why not? <laughs> because you marry her, you'd be happy, and you obviously don't want to be happy, or you would have married her by now. I'm still a little unclear about this boat thing. Okay, well, you treat Sharon like you treat your boat, right? Okay, you love your boat, right? You want to be with your boat. You want to keep your boat forever and ever. Yeah, but someday I'd like to get a bigger one. <laughs> Just stay with me on this. So. <laughs> so maybe your boat needs, like, some security, you know? It needs a dock to come home to at night. So maybe it needs a little rope around its cleat so it doesn't just drift away. So what are you saying, we should split the mooring fees? I'm saying, if you don't take care of your boat, it's just going to drift away and you're going to lose it forever. You're right. Thank you. I'm always right. How did Dan get to be so lucky? I don't know, being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Roseanne, you are really a wonderful woman. Yeah, how you doing? Hi, Rosie. Oh, 